Hey guys, welcome back to Dr. Soybean's Let's Play of Castlevania Bloodlines for the Sega Genesis Part 2, uh, Stage 3. And this stage is where things start to get significantly harder. The first two stages were nothing really too difficult, but now we start amping up the difficulty. Even though overall I would say this is not anywhere near to the hardest classic Castlevania game. That's actually got to be Castlevania 3 for the original Nintendo, easily. But still not an easy game for sure. And this part is annoying simply because of fuck two of them. These harpies. Thank god I have the boomerang. Come on. Okay. Alright, that wasn't too bad, actually. Okay, and this part, I find the easiest thing to do is just rush the fuck out of here as quickly as possible. Also, I just found the way, uh, the animation of him walking up the stairs in this game to be hilarious. It's like he's power walking or something. Uh, no, I don't want holy water. Okay. Let's save state here. Because sometimes I fuck up on this rope swinging. Shit. That wasn't good. Alright, let's do another quick save. Alright, wasn't so bad actually. Fucker. Oh shit. Oh, I'm out of jewels. Just trying to use my boomerang. Okay. Alright, and a lot of people find this area to be really annoying. I don't want to jinx it, but personally I don't find this area to be all that bad. Even though I've taken two Medusa hits already. It's the next area. That's a fucking bitch. Pardon my French. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh no, not this area. My mistake, viewers. I didn't mean this area. That's a bitch. It's one that's coming up a bit later, I guess. What's that? Nope. The holy water in this game is actually pretty crappy in most situations. Unlike in the first Castlevania, where it's easily your best weapon. Along with the cross. Sure could use some health, but I don't think there's any coming up, unfortunately. Okay. Yes, this is the area I was referring to. If 
I've got the boomerang and lots of ammo as I do, though. It's not too bad. Let's do another save. Oh shit, I pressed that fucking... Okay, thank you. Save there. Just want to make it through here without dying, because I think the boss is next, actually. Well, I probably will take a death on just so I can start with full health. Okay. Whoops, I picked the wrong slot there. Okay. Um, well, I guess it doesn't matter, because there's no way I'm going to beat him with only two health. Yeah, there we go. That's alright, though. We still have plenty of lives and haven't used any continues. So... We'll get him this time. Alright. Let's do this shit. Fuck. Ah, uh, come on. I do kind of like how this whole thing is rotating. It's kind of a cool effect. This game is really uh, an impressive showcase for the Genesis in terms of uh, not just not really graphical capabilities, but specifically animation capabilities. Come on. Shit. Sorry about that, guys. Let's try this again. Come on, why is it so hard to hit him with that? Of course. Oh no, 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 no! Yeah, let's save. Fucker. I'm not doing that good. Not doing terrible, but not doing that good. Okay, good, good. Is he gonna do his bouncing thing now? Yes, okay. Fuck! Come on, come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Good. 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 Shit. One more. Oh, fuck. And listen to his death screams. All right, and there's stage three. All right, now it's off to Germany for stage four. This is like National Lampoon's European Vacation, but with vampires. Didn't really like that movie, to be honest. I kind of really only like... Well, Vegas Vacation is good, and, of course, Christmas Vacation is a classic. You shit. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, let's do a quick save there. You fucker. Well, that's no good. Okay. Let's get ourselves. There's a very rare... This game is really stingy with pot roasts, although I fully admit I don't know this game as well as I know uh, Super Castlevania 4, so it's possible that there's some I'm missing. But I find this game to be pretty stingy with the roasts. Almost as stingy as uh, Castlevania 3. Let's do another save there. Okay. Shit. And the boss in this level is actually... I don't know how appropriate he is to a Castlevania game. It almost seems like he doesn't really fit the theme of the game, but... Uh, I actually find him a lot easier than the last boss, so... Okay, in this part you obviously just want to avoid being crushed. Okay, and of course, it wouldn't be a clack... Blah, I can't talk today. It wouldn't be a Castlevania game if there wasn't a clock tower, right? Fucking Medusa heads. The most annoying part of any Castlevania game. Okay. Ah, shit, shit! You guys see that? All that progress. Lost by one misstep. All right, let's save here. Okay. I don't know. I bitch about it a little, but clock towers are always kind of my favorite part of any Castlevania game. They're just so cool looking. Whoops. A little bit further next time. There we go. Perfect. Alright, we're actually pretty close to the boss. No mini-boss in this level is something I'm just kind of coming to the realization, but... The last level more than makes up for it with the sheer number of bosses we're going to have to fight. Which will probably be in the third and final part. Not a very long game, but uh, sometimes brevity is the soul of wit, as they say. Okay, come back up here, you fucker. Alright, let's do a quick save. Oh, fuck me. I forgot about him. There is a mini-boss. Frankenstein, who for some reason has blue skin. And looks to be about 20 feet tall. Alright. Shit. Took a little bit more damage on him than I would have liked. All right, this part. OK. 
Okay. Those things are really, can be really annoying. And so can these, because, ah, oh, you fucker, come down. Okay. See, they should have made it a little bit higher, because it looks like it's slicing right through your fucking back right now. And then this one, slow and steady wins the race. Okay. Alright. I guess I don't remember this as well as I thought. I totally forgot about that fucking Frankenstein mini boss. Alright, let's save here. Take you out with the boomerang. Okay. Well, a bit of an awkward jump there. Okay. Perhaps I should save. All right, now we're in the room before the boss. You know, I'm pretty low on health, but... ...confident I can actually beat him. I find him to be a lot easier than the previous boss. We'll see, at least. See, he's basically some kind of clockwork robot. Which... Isn't really a monster, so fuck. I don't know how well it fits the theme of this game. Okay. It just has a couple different patterns. Okay. Uh, go, 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 shit. What? Let's save there, because he is so close to being dead. Oh, one more! Oh, come on! That was horse shit. Okay, come on. One more. Come on! Oh, my God. All right. And that feels like a good place to end part two. That's stage four. We'll do the fifth and final stage in part three. See you guys then.